Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really nice computer background. And I got my inspiration from Ava Jules right here. She posted on her story a really, really nice computer background, so I thought I would definitely have to make my own. So I just found a bunch of pictures on Pinterest, and I will show you how to put them together on both Photoshop and Canva, and also add embellishments on Canva. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so the first step is to go onto Pinterest and find a bunch of pictures that you want to use in your background. So what I did was I found a whole bunch of pictures. I think I found 19 or something like that. Um, here they are. So let's show them big. So here they are. These are all pictures that make me happy. And this is the Photoshop document I'm going to be editing in. So yeah, um, when you download all the pictures, then you put them into Photoshop. So I'm going to be showing you two ways to do this, one in Photoshop and one on Canva. So I just resized all the images to make them smaller and more manageable to decide what kind of sizing I want to do for each of them and even if I'm going to include all of them. So then I'm going to go around with the eyedropper tool wherever that is there we go and just try to find a good color to be the background so I'm thinking like some sort of this kind of blue color and once I pick that then I'm going to put that as a layer in the background and just try to move around the pictures and crop them so they look good on that color. Okay, so I think I like that color for now. I might change it later, but I think it looks good. So now I'm going to start fooling around with the images and trying to find out where I'm going to like them. So this is going to take a while, so I'm going to speed it up. But you basically just put them wherever you like, depending on the images that you choose. Okay, so I think I have a layout that I like, and now I'm going to go in and try to put in some embellishments, like lines and just some words if I find words that I'd like to write. Just try to um, make everything kind of more consistent and fit together a bit better. You could go into Illustrator to make this better, which I might do later, but for now I'm just um, using the brushes in Photoshop. I think Illustrator would be better for this but um, just for the sake of time. What you could also do is go in using a um, pen. I have a, a Wacom tablet, so you can draw in 
um, using the tablet and the laptop instead because I'm not doing so well with my mouse. But what I decided I'm going to do, because arranging everything took so long, is I'm going to export this and then put it into Canva and find little embellishments I can use on there. And then I can give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to do the arrangement in Canva, but it's pretty... Um, easy to do so we'll get one of those canva documents up with those dimensions and i'm going to export this so i'm going to try to do it in the highest resolution possible okay so here i have my canva document and now i'm just going to go and import my um my photo by just dragging it in here we go so i'll move it and then drag it into the document and it'll upload. So once it uploads, then I will just click and drag it into the background here. We'll make it the background. There we go. And then I can just go into elements and search lines. All right, I think that's it for the embellishments that I'm gonna do. So I'm going to export it and then I'll show you what it looks like on my background. All right, there it is. I think it looks great actually. Um, I wasn't so sure when like having it be um, a solid color, but I think it really turned out great and it cropped off the edge on the bottom, but I think that's okay. I might just move this squiggle up a bit, but yeah, that's how you do it. So in Canva, you would just um, do the basic uh, like importing of the photos, dragging it around, and you can do all of the same things as in Photoshop, except it turns out being a little bit less um, of the resolution. But yeah, I guess I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I think this was a really awesome thing to make, and I had a lot of fun making it. Um, so yeah, uh, tag me in your creations, and I will see you guys later. Bye.